Hello and welcome to this video tutorial on how to register your Airlink gateways with AirVantage Management Service. Before you can begin managing your Airlink gateways, you must first make AirVantage aware of them through the registration process. Registering a few devices can easily be done via the web interface. You can also register a large number of devices by importing the device's identification information in a CSV file. We'll walk you through both processes in this video. Let's go to the register page. Click on the widget here in the Start page or the Register tab from the top menu bar. It will bring you to the Device Catalog on the Register page where you can select your device type. In our case, we have some GX400s to register. Step 1 is to provide the serial number of your gateway. As a reminder, your gateway's serial number can be found in two different ways. It is printed on the back of your gateway. Note, you'll need to remove the dash from the serial number or you can find it in ACE Manager by selecting the Status About page to view the Global ID field. Enter the serial number in the required field. You can now give your device a name in the Name field. Airlink gateways support Device Initiated Communication Model. This allows the management of the gateway without assigning a public static IP address. This model increases the communication security and is the recommended configuration for our AirVantage devices. Alternatively, if you prefer to initiate communications from the server at times other than the device configured heartbeat, see the user guide for more details. Now click on the register button to start the registration. Once done, AirVantage will notify you about the successful operation and you will see your gateway on top of the list below. The list contains all the devices that have been registered with AirVantage. They can be sorted by their synchronization status. As you can see, our newly added gateway has not yet synchronized. Step 2 is then to turn on your gateway. All new gateways are pre-configured to automatically connect to AirVantage. If your gateway runs the Alios firmware version 4.3.1 or earlier, you will need to change the settings in ACE Manager as shown in Step 3 of the registration procedure. First check that the device is configured to communicate with the AirVantage Management Service. Next verify if the server URL is as shown here. After the first communication, click on the refresh button to verify the synchronization status of your system. If the status icon becomes green, it means your system has been synchronized. Your device can now be monitored and configured from AirVantage. Click on the monitor the system icon to start. If you have a lot of devices to register, it will be simpler to perform a bulk registration. Click on the Import a List button. An Import Systems dialog box will open. Then download the import file template in CSV format by clicking on Download Template. The gateway, serial number, is the only field in the spreadsheet that must be filled in. If you only have your IMEIs, contact your reseller or Sierra Wireless they can get a serial number conversion for you. If you use the Airlink Raven, Pinpoint or MP gateways, you will be required to enter the IMEI or ESN value instead. Name. Assign one to each of your devices to simplify the identification. The MSCI host and communication password fields are used only if you want to enable the server-initiated communication. We recommend device-initiated communication. If you want to use the server-initiated communication, see the user guide for more details. Once you've finished compiling the import file, go back to the Import Systems dialog box, browse and select it and click on Start. You will see your list of devices on the register page and they will synchronize with AirVantage after their first communication with AirVantage. If they don't manage to synchronize, please verify the AirVantage settings in ACE Manager as discussed earlier. This brings us to the end of the device registration tutorial. You can find more tutorials from our documentation center at doc.airvantage.net. Thank you for using AirVantage.